Hi beauties, welcome to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. But today we're gonna to be doing a basic look that you can do for Thanksgiving, that you can wear to the living room that doesn't require too much. I just wanted to do like a really quick basic look, but you can still be slain in the living room right before Thanksgiving so you can be ready for your holiday. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, then please stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed. Subscribe, subscribe. Hey, hey, subscribe. Subscribe to my channel if you guys are not subscribed. Thank you for your support, thank you for watching, and let's get started. All right, beauties, let's go ahead and get started with our e.l.f. Plus Matte Oil Control Lotion. This is my favorite lotion because I have oily skin and it has clay in it, and the clay absorbs oil. So if you have oily skin, definitely try it. Then I'm going in with my Petals Serum from Lashing Out Glam, and this is a really nice serum that makes your face feel really soft. It has hyaluronic acid and a whole bunch of other great skincare in it. Then we're going to go into our Lashing Out Glam Rose Water. As you can see, the flowers are in it, and this is going to act as a toner and just get our skin ready and prepped for foundation. Now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer, my favorite primer. This is going to fill in the pores and help everything to look seamless without showing um, skin imperfections. So we're smoothing out the skin and going in with the Chalk Dust Powder from the Crayon Case, which is a setting powder that is similar to my complexion. And this is going to just set everything prior to putting on foundation. It's going to absorb any extra oils. And this is a step that I would do if you have oily skin. If you don't, don't do that step. Now we're going to go ahead and go into our foundation stick from Juvia's Place. I find this to be a soft matte and I am applying that all over my face. It has full coverage to me and I think that it is actually a really nice stick. So as you can see as I blend it in, the coverage is amazing. All you have to do is tap and it blends out seamlessly and melts right into the skin. So I definitely highly recommend this and I know that they have an amazing sale going on right now. So definitely check out Juvia's Place to get some of these foundation sticks while they're on sale. Um, even when they're not on sale, they're super affordable as well. And look at that coverage, you guys. Like nothing is showing through that. Now we're going to go in with our 16 concealer from Juvia's Place. And of course, add that to all of the areas where we want to highlight underneath the eyes, bridge of the nose, forehead, underneath the cheekbones, and around the mouth area. Then we're going to go in with the Bane In Foundation from Juvia's Place. This is a foundation stick that I use as a contour stick. And I love it because it melts into the skin and blends out seamlessly. So I would definitely suggest if you're looking for a contour, that is a great one. Then I used my P. Louise Eyeshadow Base in Winter Rose as a cream blush because it works amazing as a cream blush. And... Um, I just needed to find something else to use it for because I don't use it that often and I don't want it to go to waste. So now we're tapping everything out and blending everything. So we start off with our contour. And as you can see, it literally takes a few taps and it just starts to melt into the skin. That is why I love this contour stick. Or it's not even a contour stick, but this foundation stick that I use as a contour stick because everything melts out seamlessly. And all of these products from Juvia's Place work together perfectly. So I'm literally, as you can see, just taking my time and blending everything out blending that nose bridge and now we're going to go ahead and tap out our cream blush and we're going to take our time and make sure that looks nice and seamless as you can see it is absolutely beautiful and that is why i have become addicted to using it as a blush because it just looks so good in the melt is amazing. Now it's time to blend in our concealer. I like to leave, leave the concealer to blend last because the concealer, want, you want the best coverage that you can get from it. And if it sits, it gets more opaque. So that is why you want to blend the concealer last. And just take your time. As you can see, I'm just taking my time and tapping everything. And it's tapping out very seamlessly and looking amazing. And I'm now, of course, blending underneath the cheekbones. And as I'm blending, I'm also blending around the contour as well. So just take your time and blend, blend, blend. 
Now I'm going in with the chalk dust powder in the letter A and I am using this once again to mattify my skin and this is also going to be um, a barrier before I put on my setting powder from highlighting and contouring and it's going to keep me from having flashback with my highlight. So I'm just going to do a thin layer of the setting powder that's my complexion prior to highlighting and contouring with powder. And as you can see, everything's looking good. Now I'm going in with the flower powder in the color called um, Plantain. It is a yellow base powder and it is beautiful. It goes perfectly with my complexion and I'm just taking my time to blend it out. I do like to neutralize this powder with my brightening powder and um, it's going to be just a lighter yellow powder. But for now, this is a great powder to set everything. Now we're going to go into the Contrasitional Book. This is from the Crayon Case. And I go into the two colors in this um, notebook and just go over all of my contoured areas. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. Now I'm going to go in with my Chalk Dust Powder in the letter C. And I'm going to brighten all of the areas where I highlight and neutralizing that yellow that was put under it and it looks so amazing i love to layer powders if you don't have oily skin i would say just use one but if you do have oily skin definitely try layering powders because it definitely just gives you a beautiful beautiful finish if you do that and i'm literally just going over all of the areas where i did um, highlight earlier Now I'm going in with my P. Louise Blank Base and I'm going to blend this out. This is of course going to be our eyeshadow base for the look. So we're just going to make sure that everything is nice and blended before we move forward and start to add the shadows. Then we're going into the Juvia's Place Vanessa palette and this is going to um, be a very beautiful nude color that is in the palette i'm tapping it to the front and then blending it around the whole eye because this is what going to be like a really neutral eye um the eyeliner is going to be the show for this so we want to have a really neutral eye so literally just tapping one shade all over the lid now i'm going into this liner that i got from an ipsy bag and i am creating my wing and of course we want to make that wing sharp so it could cut a b okay so just take your time and make sure that you get that nice and sharp wing liner from the back and then we're going to bring this to the front and create a fox eye as well i just want this to be the drama okay the liner is the drama for this look now I'm going back into the Vanessa palette and I'm going to go into the darker brown in the outer V just to add a little bit of dimension and I'm leaving that color on the outer V. I'm not going to bring that in any further. Now we're going to add a little bit of that also to the bottom of the lash line. These are Bolif Beauty um, glitters and I'm going into the gold glitter from Bolif Beauty online and the glitters are so beautiful i suggest you definitely get your hands on these glitters if you're looking for some good glitters you get some amazing shine with them and then i decided to take my liner and go above where i added the glitter just to make sure that the liner doesn't use lose its intensity because like i said the liner is the star of the show then i'm going to clean up the outside of my liner make sure that that wing is sharp and can cut a be okay and then, of course, once we blend out that concealer, we're going to set that with our setting powder to make sure everything is nice and set. Now, I decided I wanted that outer V to be a little lighter, so I went in with a burnt um, rust color and just decided to go over that darker color, and I love how it looks now. And then this is the Lashing Out Glam um, Mascara, and I'm going to be using this on the top and bottom of my lashes. And then I'm just blending everything out once again to make sure there are no harsh lines and there's no um, separation between the liner and the um, blended smoked out bottom lash line. Now we're going to blend away any excess powder that we have on the face. Take your time and make sure that you don't blend in any shadow with it. Um, so you just want to blend really softly and just go into all those little areas. Then we're going to go into the blush binder from the crayon case and go into the two colors on the front page and it is two colors that you can use to bronze 
and they work amazing and i literally dip into both of those colors to bring the warmth back into my face because after highlighting and contouring your face is flat like a canvas so now i am warm and i'm using the elf blotting powder right now and going over my entire face the highlighting and contoured areas all alike because this is going to serve as a finishing powder and it is also just going to leave a nice airbrush look at for the finish now i'm going into the sahara palette from um, juvia's place and i am adding the orange blush and it looks absolutely amazing get that nose and i love it blend 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 all right everything is looking nice and airbrushed now look at that now we're going to go into the honor roll highlighter from the crayon case and add some highlight in our lives look at how gorgeous this highlighter is it's the most beautiful champagne color that is perfect for all skin tones and i am here for it so once that is blended out we're going to of course hit that cubes bow and then we're going to hit the brow bone because I just decided because this is such a neutral eye, I wanted to add some brow bone highlight as well. Blend, blend, blend. Add my Mo with my liner. And now I'm going in with the Coco Gloss from Lashing Out Glam to outline my lips. And I use that as a liner. I like to use a lipstick because I have big lips. And then I'm going to go in with the Barely There Gloss from Juvia's Place. As you can see, it's such a gorgeous nude gloss, and it just sets the lip off. Then I'm going into my Beauty Call Me Lashes, lashes in the um, style called Hollywood, and they look absolutely amazing. I'm here for it. They are beautiful. And I love this look. This is a perfect simple look for you to wear to your living room for the holidays. It, it will be perfect with a red lip for Christmas. All right, beauty, so this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, this is perfect for you to wear in the living room for Thanksgiving. So I wanted to give you guys something that you can wear for the holiday that is super beautiful, super easy, and super glam. So let me know if you guys are feeling this look. Let me know in the comments below so that I can know if you guys are feeling the more simple looks um, or if, if you guys are just loving the content that i've been producing for you guys i would love to know because i never know what you guys are loving what you're not um unless i get feedback and i would love to hear that so thank you guys so much for your support i appreciate you so much thank you so much for watching happy thanksgiving and well you know we don't celebrate thanksgiving for what the actual holiday is but like happy family day i'll say that um so um i hope to see you guys again soon and don't forget to be all kind of beautiful because there's only one you. Bye.